As the Beaumont Police Department prepares to bid a final farewell to Officer Yarborough Powell, the chief is launching the career of four new officers. KFDM's Angel San Juan is in studio tonight to tell us why the swearing-in ceremony took on added significance. Angel? The Beaumont Police family is hurting tonight because of this weekend's tragedy, but officers have faced other struggles this summer. That's why Chief Jimmy Singletary offered his appreciation to the four new members of the force for making this commitment during the current climate. At only 28 years old, Zachary Guidry is fulfilling a lifelong dream. As I was a kid, um, I wanted to be a cop. I dressed up as a cop for Halloween, um, you know, and then going into college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Took some classes and then decided criminal justice was the way I wanted to go. But it was not easy. Guidry did not make it at first, but check him out. The husband and father of two is now a Beaumont police officer. No more dressing up in a police costume. Wednesday, he wore the real uniform as his wife pinned his badge on him. Wow, good job. By the way, he graduated valedictorian from the police academy. Along the way, he also became a firefighter and an EMT. I took EMT first and I took fire and now I'm here. So it kind of set the pace for me uh, and set the routine to really stay focused. Gidry is one of four achieving a milestone, also taking the oath as new officers, Sidney Gomez, Nathan Hodges, and Erica Salceda. Chief Jimmy Singletary looking on like a proud father, expressing admiration and gratitude that these young men and women would want to become officers in this current climate. It's the toughest time in, in, the, in our nation's history to be a police officer, but it's really the most important, one of the most important times and, and uh, to be a good cop. And that's what these guys are going to be. And I, I am so proud of our officers. They're joining a heck of a family. Our officers done a heck of a job in the uh, last four or five months under horrible circumstances. Those circumstances include the unpredictable COVID-19 virus and anger toward police officers in other parts of the nation. And Chief Singletary gets choked up about the latest hardship hitting his department, the death of Officer Sheena Yarbrough Powell. It's just been a roller coaster. It, it really has. Uh, this has been, without a doubt, the toughest time I've, in my nine years as a chief. Uh, and and uh, all of our officers are just struggling with this. It's just it's horrible. But you know, uh, they're, they're resilient and they're going uh, to they're, they're gonna get through this with the help of uh, other officers plus the help of our citizens. Our citizens have really stood up for us and that makes our guys feel a whole lot better about doing their job. And their families also expressing their solidarity, both blood relatives and not their family in the world. And their new brothers and sisters in blue. They're going to need the support of their family and it's good to see that they, uh, the family turned out really well here and because our officers are going to need them. The officers fully aware of what awaits them and yet they're not turning back. Everything that came at us with the, the, the coronavirus and all the difficulties, it didn't let me just completely lose you know, faith in what I wanted to do. And while these officers celebrate the future inside, outside a growing memorial of flowers to an officer who paid the ultimate price, the balance of emotions policemen and police women must face between grief and joy in a rewarding but dangerous career. The Beaumont Police Force right now has 248 officers with 12 vacancies, so Chief Singletary says the department is hiring. Any interested candidates who meet the qualifications can apply online at beaumonttexas.gov. Greg? Good to see. Thank you, Angel. Develop